This video is to show you how to access your variables and how to change those variables. And you may have seen me do this in other um, videos, but this will be the more in-depth video. So if you're just looking for the variable x, you can use this button right here. This will give you the x that you need, especially when you're putting things into y equals. Um, if you're graphing equations or doing anything with equations and y equals, you have to use x. You could also use this x. Notice that it's in green, so the only way to get to it is to press alpha first and then press that button. But if you're just storing variables um, to solve, evaluate, anything like that, you can use any of these variables that you want. Um, if I can press G, I can press H, like I could spell words. That wouldn't really help you do much, but it is there. Um, from what I've seen about the solve, if you have something in here already, so I'm going to put something in, 9 plus 8. If I press alpha, enter to do solve, it's just going to do the same thing. I've not figured out exactly what to do with the question mark, but I'm sure there is something for it. And I believe this is a space. Um, let's test that. A Yes, that is your space. So the O and the semicolon, um, or the colon. I'm not exactly sure what you use these for on this calculator, but, and the quotations, um, but the solve, it just solves it again for you. This button, you don't really need. This, this is theta. And if you notice or look, on this button that we use for the X it is also there but we won't be using that in this class so we don't have to worry about that 